hope you're doing well. Today's video is going to be a show and tell video. Very soft spoken. What I have here are a set of cards. I'll show you what they are. The Guinness World Record Amazing Animals Fact Cards. And I just pulled a few out of the box. Randomly. And I thought I would tap every now and then on the box, on the cards, and read you the facts on the cards. So, first card, I'll just ruffle through and get one, is called Fish with the Largest Repertoire of Tricks. This is what this card looks like. Here's what it says on the back. As of October 2005, Albert Einstein, a calico fantail goldfish, could perform six tricks, including playing football and fetch. Albert was trained at the fish school in Gibsonia, Pennsylvania. And there he is right there. The fish that knew six tricks. And on the back of the card it also has on every card a did you know. So, did you know another goldfish is in training to beat Albert Einstein's record? Comet plays basketball and soccer, swims through hoops, and has mastered six other tricks. Who knew fish were so smart? I'll put that one down now and get another one. This card is highest jump by a dog. And there is the picture on the front. It looks like it's a greyhound. Maybe the card will tell us for sure. Cinderella May A. Holly Gray, that's her name, jumped five feet eight inches high on October 7th, 2006. Look at that. Five feet eight inches jumped by a dog. And yes, it is a greyhound. Did you know pictures of greyhounds were carved in Egyptian tombs dating as far back as 5,000 years ago? So they are clearly a very old and prestigious breed. Let's get a new card. This is called the noisiest land animal. And here is a picture of some kind of monkey. Now, in all fairness, if the Guinness people do not give this award to my neighbors, I am calling shenanigans. But let's see what it says on the back of this card. Noisiest land animal. In 
the full voice, the howler monkey can be heard clearly up to three miles away. The shrill screams have been described as a cross between a bark of a dog and the bray of a donkey, increased a thousandfold. Yeah, those suckers are noisy. That is a howler monkey. Now, did you know, despite how loud howler monkeys are, it can be hard to spot them because they hang out in the treetops so they can eat younger, greener leaves. Smart little fellas. Okay. Our next card is most dolphins born in a year. Here's a picture of our card. Two beautiful dolphins jumping out of the water. Eleven dolphins were born between January 28th and December 4th, 2008. In the Riviera Maya, Quintano Roo, Mexico. And there they are. And did you know dolphins do not chew their food? They swallow it whole. I think that's true of most. I can't call them a fish. They're not. They're a mammal, I think. So yeah, that fact is pretty interesting. They actually don't chew their food. They swallow it whole. Wow. Okay. Let's do one of these cards that's been sitting out front. Let's take this one and replace it with another one. This one is called, I've been looking at it and I'm wondering, what does it say? The Strangest Animal Diet. And here pictured is an ostrich. So here's what it says. An international examination, oh, pardon me, an internal examination of an ostrich that had been living at the London Zoo in the UK revealed that during its life it had swallowed, among other things, an alarm clock, three coins, a roll of film, three gloves, a handkerchief, and a pencil. That's quite the diet. I'm surprised it didn't die. Did you know Asian moths are known to drink the tears of wild cows, buffalo, and elephants right from their eyelids? Probably safer than going by the swamp. Anyway, there he is. Our next card is called The Most Dangerous Lizard. There it is. I'm not the fondest of reptiles. I'll admit that up front. But let's see why this particular lizard is the most dangerous. Ah. A Gila monster carries enough venom in its lower jaw to kill two 
adult males. When it bites with its sharp, fragile teeth, it may hang on and actively chew for several minutes. I must admit that gave me goosebumps. Wow. Imagine that. Did you know that a medication for type 2 diabetes is made from the Gila monster's saliva? It has been referred to as lizard spit. Yep. Lizard spit. This one is, oh, the tallest living horse. Look at the size of that horse. It is absolutely enormous. Let's read about it. Big Jake measured six feet, ten inches tall, without horseshoes, on January 19th, 2010. He lives in Poinette, Wisconsin. Wow. Now I just want to tell you something about this deck of cards. The set was made in 2011. So some of this information may not be accurate today. But let's just enjoy the cards for what they are. Did you know a horse's height is measured in hands? Each hand is about four inches. That's a very beautiful horse. Most dogs walked simultaneously by an individual. There's somebody with an awful lot of dogs right there. Let's find out what the card says. Melissa Crispin Pinchet from Canada walked 27 dogs at once on September 13th, 2010 and eight in Alberta, Canada. There she is walking all those dogs. Did you know National Scoop the Poop Week is held in April in the United States? In England, it's called National Poop Scoop Week, and it's held in July. Interesting information. I don't know when one would ever bring that up in conversation. But it's interesting information. The largest tree-dwelling mammal. There it is right there. I'm pretty sure I know what this mammal is. Let's find out. Orangutan adult males weigh approximately a hundred and 83 pounds and measure 5 feet tall. They have an arm span of approximately 6 feet 6 inches. I 
call it an orangutan. I've heard them called orangutans. I don't care if that is what they really are called. I remember the orangutan from a TV show a long time ago. So I'm going to call him that. The show was called PJ and the Bear. Okay. So I've got time for another couple cards here. Oh, you're going to like this. This is so cute. The smallest dog living in height. Oh, that's adorable. Let's find out about it. Oh, this puppy's name is Boo Boo. Boo Boo is a long haired chihuahua measured four inches tall on May the 12th, 2007. Boo Boo lives in Raceland, Kentucky. And there she is. That is so cute. <clears throat> Did you know that Boo Boo was about the size of a thumb when she was born and was fed with an eyedropper every two hours? Wow. Would you like to pet Boo Boo? Well, I definitely would. We have another dog. Fastest time to pop 100 balloons by a dog. There is that dog. Right there. Let's read about him. Oh, maybe a her. Anastasia popped 100 balloons in 44.49 seconds on February 28th, 2008. She lives in Southern California. And there she is. You know, Anastasia likes balloons so much that she gets excited even if a blimp flies over her yard. That's right, that's doing dog with style right there. Pretty cute little dog. Fastest ferret. There's the ferret. On July eleventh, nineteen ninety nine, Warhol, an albino ferret. Around 32 feet 9 inches in 12.59 seconds at the North of England Ferret Racing Championships. He lives with his owner in the United Kingdom. Whoa. There's so many things interesting with that one sentence. I mean, who knew there was a, a racing championship for ferrets? You know, in England or anywhere else. But that's one fast ferret, you gotta admit. Also, did you know ferrets have been used to carry television cables through pipes to help cable installers? Yeah, they're not stupid. Ferrets can be taught. The 
oldest kinkajou in captivity. There it is. Aw, its name is Honey Bear. And Huggy Bear was tw Huggy Bear was twenty-seven years, six months old in January of two thousand four. He lives in Holiday, Florida. Well, I don't know. That was two thousand four. I think he's probably dead, but. I don't know, I might be wrong, they might live a long time, even longer than that. And his name is Huggy Bear, not Honey Bear, which I originally read. And here, the slowest fish. Here it is right there. Of course, you can see that that's a seahorse. So what does it say? Seahorses probably never attain speeds of more than 0 0.1 miles per hour. They can't swim against the current and must hang on to coral and marine plants with their tails to avoid being swept away. I guess it must be the way they're shaped that they can't swim into the current like that. And did you know seahorses are the only species where the male carries the unborn babies in a special pouch on his abdomen. I actually saw a video of that not more than about a week ago. Uh, came through, I think, on Facebook or something. It is really fascinating. If you have a chance to look it up, do, because I think you'd be really interested in it. Let's see how many cards we read today. Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fourteen cards. That's pretty good. There's quite a few cards in this pack. I'm going to make this a series. So if you've enjoyed yourself today with the fact reading, I hope it was relaxing for you. I know what it's like to have a stressful day where you're running around and doing so many things you don't think you have time for anything. A very important fact for you to remember is to take time for yourself every day because you can't pour from an empty cup. Remember that. Goodbye my friends. Sleep well. Relax. And I'll see you soon.